For MMT testing of wrist flexion in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated and you're going to have them in full supination. For the testing position, you're going to have their wrist in slight flexion and you're going to cradle their arm on the dorsal side with your hand. I'm going to apply pressure on the volar palm towards extension, so I'm going to push down, okay? So don't let me push your wrist down, okay? Okay, ready, go. Good. To test wrist flexion in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have their forearm resting on the table in a neutral position. As they do the flexing motion, you're going to have your, your fingers over the flexor wad to palpate. Okay, so go ahead and flex your wrist. Can you do it one more time for me? Good. For MMT testing of wrist extension for the against gravity, you're going to have your client seated with their forearm resting on a supportive surface in pronation. Their fingers and thumbs should be relaxed. The OT is going to sit on the opposite side of the client. So for the test position, you're going to place their wrist in slight extension and you're going to provide stabilization over the dorsal aspect of the forearm. Your pressure is going to be applied to the dorsal metacarpals. Okay, I'm going to push your, I'm going to try and push your hand down to the table, but don't let me, okay? Okay. Ready? Good. To test wrist extension in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have their forearm resting on the table in neutral position. You're going to place your hand on their extensor wad to palpate as they extend their wrist. Okay, I'm going to have you extend your wrist back for me. Good. For MMT testing for radial deviation in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated with their forearm in a neutral rotation and their wrist slightly extended. You're going to have their thumb pointing up. You're going to put your hand in stabilization under the dorsal ulnar forearm and you're going to place their wrist in mid radial deviation for the testing position. You're going to apply you're going to use your two fingers to apply pressure on the second metacarpal and you're going to push ulnarly. Okay, I'm going to push down and don't let me move your wrist, okay? Okay. Ready? Go. For MMT testing of radial deviation in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client's arm flat on the table in pronation. The fingers are going to be relaxed. You're going to have them do the radial deviation muscle and as or movement, and as they do that, you're going to be palpating for the FCR, ECRL, and the ECRB muscles. Okay, so go ahead and do that for me. For MMT testing of ulnar deviation in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated in a chair. They're going to have their elbow and shoulder flexed with their hand by their ear. You're going to have their wrists already be in mid ulnar deviation. You're going to provide stabilization on the distal forearm and I'm going to apply pressure with two fingers over the distal fifth metacarpal. Okay, I'm going to push down. I'm going to push your thumb towards your ear, but try not to let me, okay? Okay. Ready? Go. Good. For MMT testing of ulnar deviation in the gravity minimized position, you're going, to have their, you're going to have your client place their forearm flat on the table in supination. You're going to have them do the ulnar deviation motion, and as they're doing this, you're going to make sure you're palpating for the FCU and the ECU. So go ahead and do that motion for me. Bring your pinky toward me. Good. For MMT testing of MCP flexion in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated with their forearm fully supinated, their wrist in neutral on the supporting surface. You're going to go ahead and put the MCPs in mid flexion you're going to stabilize on the metacarpals and you're going to apply pressure on the volar proximal phalanges. Okay, I'm going to push down and don't let me push you, okay? Okay. Go. Good. 
for MMT testing of MCP flexion in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client with their hand resting on the table or bed on the ulnar side. You're then going to have them go into the motion of flexing and you're going to be palpating for the FDS and the FDP. Okay, go ahead and do that for me. To test MCP extension in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated with their forearm pronated and wrist in slight extension. You're going to have the MP and the IP joints relaxed in impartial flexion. You are going to put the MCP joints in mid extension and then you're going to stabilize the wrist and the metacarpals. I'm going to apply pressure to the dorsum of the proximal phalanx toward flexion. Good. For MCP extension in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client's hand resting on a supporting surface on their ulnar side. They are going to do the same extension motion of the MCP joints, but you are going to be palpating for the MCP extensor muscles you can also fill them in the extensor lock. Okay, go ahead and do that motion for me. For PIP flexion in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client's forearm supinated, wrist in neutral, fingers extended, and hand resting on the dorsal surface. You're going to put the PIP joints in mid flexion. You're going to stabilize on the MP joint and the proximal phalanx of the finger being tested. In this video, we're testing all of the fingers. I'm going to apply pressure to the volar middle phalanx toward PIP extension. So I'm going to push down this way and don't let me push you, okay? okay. Ready? Go. For PIP flexion in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have their forearm resting on the ulnar border. You're going to put their hand in the same position like they were for the, at, for the against gravity. You're going to have them flex their PIP joints and you're going to fill for activation of the FDS and the FDP. Go ahead and flex your joints for me. Perfect. For DIP flexion in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated with their forearms supinated, their wrist in neutral, and their fingers extended. You're going to put the MCP joint that you're testing in um, mid flexion. So we're going to do the index finger. So we're going to go ahead and put it in mid flexion. I'm going to stabilize the PIP joint and the middle phalanx. I'm going to apply pressure volar distal to the phalanx toward DIP extension. So I'm going to try and pull your DIP joint towards me. So okay. don't let me pull you down, okay? Okay. Ready? Go. Good. For MMT testing of the DIP inflection in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your forearm and wrist resting on the ulnar border. You're going to have their fingers extended and you may need to block which the middle phalanx or the PIP joint of the finger that you're testing so that you can fully feel just the DIP joint moving. So I'm going to block right here and I'm going to have you move your finger in and you're going to palpate for the FDP. Go ahead. For MMT testing of finger abduction in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated with their forearm pronated, wrist neutral, fingers extended, and adducted. Your test position, you're going to use the finger that you're testing, we're going to be doing her index finger, and we're going to have it in mid abduction, so not all the way, just about halfway. I'm going to stabilize the wrist and the metacarpals on the supporting surface, and I'm going to apply pressure lateral to the proximal phalanx. So I'm going to try and push her in and she's going to try and resist me, okay? I'm going to try and push her finger towards your middle finger, but don't let me. Okay. Ready? Go.
For finger adduction in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated with their forearm fully pronated, wrist neutral, fingers extended, and adducted. You are going to put the finger that you're testing, we're going to be doing her um, index finger, in adduction and slight adduction. So it's not going to be all the way, but it's not going to be all the way abducted either. I'm going to stabilize her wrist and metacarpals. And this time I am going to be trying to push her finger away from her middle finger. So I'm going to try and pull your finger out from your middle finger, but don't let me, okay? Okay. Ready? Go. Good. And you're going to apply the pressure to the proximal phalanx. For IP extension in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated with their forearm pronated, wrist and mid extension, and neutral deviation. You're going to have the IP joints in mid flexion slash mid extension. You're going to put the stabilization on the proximal phalanx, and you're going to put your pressure on the dorsal, middle, and distal phalanx. And I'm gonna try and push you down, but you don't let me, okay? I'm gonna try and put this part of your finger down. Okay. Ready? Go. Good. For IP extension in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client with their forearm in mid rotation, wrist in mid extension, and neutral deviation. You are going to also have the test positions also going to be the IP joints in mid extension. Okay, as they do that, you might want to block the other your MCP joints from from going into extension. So I'm going to block those right here and I'm gonna palpate for her finger extensor muscles on the side. Which, which extensor that you try to palpate may depend on which finger that you're testing. In this case, we're testing all of them. Okay, ready? I'm gonna have you extend your IP joint. Okay, good. 